Welcome back to another day here on the Lorcana Pixelborn Client. Today we are playing a first place finishing deck from a 1k tournament by Jesse. I cannot pronounce your last name. Guard Guard Gardula. I hope I hope that's how you pronounce it. Jesse built this deck, this ketchup and mustard deck, which I am calling something like Sunrise or Sunset. It's gotta be because it's the colors. Sunset Blitz. Ooh, that sounds good. Because this is a bunch of characters that want to basically hit the field and either A, be questing towards victory, or B, ramping into things that are just going to shred our opponent's board. Right? We're going to just get in there. There's a really fun combo in this deck. But first, obviously, there's the Mother Gothel, Rapunzel combo. There's the Stitch shifting into Rockstar Stitch. That's in here. Doc helps us to ramp into some of these bigger characters a little faster. And of course, as things die, Chernabog becomes more and more likely to come down for cheap. So as our board gets dealt with, Chernabog just becomes really potent. The really cool combo in this deck is Prince Eric and Teeth and Ambitions. There are certain characters in this game, like Cinderella, the one, two, who sings as a singer three, who just need to have some teeth and ambition slapped down on them. But sometimes there's also things that are really big and scary that you want to get rid of. Prince Eric and Teeth together is fantastic. So Teeth takes out something, right? Takes out something that are his damage or you know, it does the damage and you can team it up with Maui, you know, something. Teeth is a good piece. But when you have to do the two damage to a character you control, that character being Prince Eric is huge. Because Prince Eric, when he is banished, regardless of how he's banished, as long as he's banished, we get to banish something else. So you take out the Cinderella with the teeth, do the two damage to Prince Eric. Prince Eric now takes out the Tinkerbell or the Stoutheart Cinderella or the Hercules with its resist or, you know, whatever else is a problem on the other side of the board. Or if opponent happens to be running their own, you know, Hydras, because you're not doing damage, you're just getting rid of it. That's, it's, that's a great combo. I'm... I'm, I'm a big fan of that combo. It's really, it's really cool. And what I like ab about that the most is that they're both Ruby. So you can play them in the same deck in any deck. Very fantastic. But let's jump in. Let's see if we can't win some of these games. But before we do, there's a link in the description down below. We're getting very close to the raffle giveaway. April 7th, I'm going to be doing a live stream after the uh, tickets for Chicago go live. The ticketing website says they'll be live on the 7th. I had a commenter ask about that. That's how I know it's on the 7th. And by no, of course, you know, I might not completely 100% know, but the ticketing website itself says the tickets will be available at noon, April 7th. So after that is done, I'll be doing a live stream giving this stuff away. Patreon tier 3. I'm giving away a bunch of stuff, including booster boxes over here. I got troves up there. I got a bunch of like Disney merchandise and swag on this side. Just a bunch of stuff. So feel free. Join Patreon tier free today before April 7th. Uh, for those of you who have been Patreon members for consecutive months after this raffle, that's when we move into your guys's loyalty. That's the word. The loyalty raffle will become available. So if you become a Patreon now before the next raffle, which will include a loyalty raffle, which is probably going to be a booster box or an enchanted or perhaps the enchanted and the booster box will be the loyalty one. So if you become one now, your second month will begin in just before that raffle happens which will qualify you for the loyalty so now's a perfect time to get in but let's jump in and let's see how well jesse's deck performs oh steel song is do we get our revenge today or do we die to it twice let's find out okay why can i not get a mother gothel and a rapunzel at the same time it's almost like it's rigged uh mini mouse and teeth i think i have to keep Oh, uh, let's get rid of everything else. Let's try to get a Mother Gothel to go with you. Nope, but I got another Rapunzel. <laughs> I'm destined to have the stitches too, I suppose. All right, going second. We're going to see a Cinderella. All right, opponent. Seven cards in hand, 40, or 53 in deck, so a standard 60-card deck. There goes a Robin of the Hood. Cindy, that's who we wanted to see, actually, because that is why I kept the teeth. All right, they can still sing for free and pay for something else. They could take my mini off the board. They are going to have to two for one it. Yep, that's a good ink for you. That won't do anything against my... It can take out the Maui's fish hook, but... Very unlikely. 
Mr. Shmee. Not gonna get to you for a long time. Let's actually get rid of you. Get rid of the Sydney. The Cindy Rally. I will not quest. Now they could just cast the Let the Storm Rage on. Heck, even that Strength of Raging Fire takes out Minnie Mouse. But it's such a bad character to target with your removal. <laughs> Ah, you have the Capitan Hook. Very nice. Man, this is not looking great for me. These guys are a little expensive. Alright. Begrudgingly past the turn. I would love to get my Hydra down. I think he would just absolutely wreak havoc to my opponent. Uninkable and cost six. He's tough to get to. He needs to be in a ramp deck. Perhaps if there were some Plutos in here along with the dock, maybe the Hydra is a little easier to play. Hercules in the opponent's deck. That'll take out Stitch. Honestly, fine with that means I get to draw two cards off of Minnie Mouse here. <laughs> of course I would draw you though, that's hilarious. Okay, I actually don't mind my characters unaliving so much here, do I? Um, hmm. I am going to attack the Capitan Hook. It's not a great attack for him, so. Fast turn. And I don't mind my characters dying with a Chernabog in my hand. Cindy Rally. Alright, what else do you got, opponent? Yeah, the Captain Hook attack's not great. Uh, opponent misses. There's nothing in my hand to steal. The only thing that can hit is the Teeth and the Maui. <laughs> it's okay. They just gave me a whole bunch of really nice cards. Perfect. I will take that. I can finish off Mr. Smee with the teeth now, which is great. I have to pay for it though. I don't have to pay for it. I could could sing it here. And then play a Mufasa. I think I will do that. Do I do the damage to Mufasa though? That's the question. Because we don't mind if he dies. That's his whole purpose. I think we do do the damage to Mufasa. Alright, you will sing it. You will take the damage. Mr. Smee will die. Perfect! No pun intended with my kitty cat. Perfect. If you have to hard cast a whole new world and you can't act on it first, that's not good. So we did actually get a pretty big advantage in that. Just depends on how well my opponent can recover. Also, it depends on how much ink they have, right? If you're, if you're sitting on like 15 ink and you have to hard cast it, that's really not a big deal. The more ink you have, the less detrimental that is. But obviously, you never want to pay for it. <laughs> a lot of characters from the opponent. Honestly, I think I'm just questing. I could take out the Captain Hook if I want. I could take out a couple of characters actually. Let's see. I have to ink a thing. I think I'm inking the Stitch. But I play Prince Eric. Definitely play Prince Eric here. The question is do I do Teeth? Teeth will take out Captain Hook. Prince Eric will be the one that dies for it, and then I could take out something else. Possibly the Hercules. I think I do have to take out the Hercules. Because he I know he has shift Hercules in the deck. Alright, we'll do two damage here. We'll do two damage there. That'll make Mr. Smee a little weaker. And then that'll take care of the Hercules. I like the little synergy there. Now Mr. Smee, if he quests, takes damage. 
because there's no pirate. And of course, they can always play another pirate. I think it trades with Mufasa here, honestly, just to like consume that. Big Cindy, so Mr. Smee needs to die. All right, I am going to definitely trade here. So Lady Tremaine takes out Cin the big Cindy. Oh yeah, we're going to Hydra and play for sure. <laughs> Goodbye, your resist means nothing. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep my cards. I do have some expensive stuff. There's a couple of dragons in the deck. But... And I do have a stitch. Alright, that doesn't take us out, but... Could on a following turn. Mmm, yes. That's tough, because if I get a rock star, of course, it's always nice to have something to draw cards with. But I do want to hit at least the seven. I don't think I care to hit, hit the dragon level. That's mostly if my opponent, like, helps me ramp, I think. I'd rather play my cards if I can. And seven is more than enough to just... I can even multiplay a lot of stuff. Alright, this is tough for my opponent. I'm on lethal here, so they need removal. If they don't have any form of removal, game over just right here. I mean, a swords will do it. They'll take out a Lady Tremaine. I'm guessing they have like a Tinkerbell. And that's just not going to do it. Oh, there goes the Lady Tremaine. That does buy them a turn. But will it be it? Mufas is pretty much lethal at this point then. That two damage doesn't take out anything. But it does cycle through their hand. And I love that Hydra's not triggering when my opponent doesn't have characters, because that would be annoying. Right, well they're not dead yet. Rapunzel off the top would also be sweet for this Hydra. <laughs> Are they just gonna concede anyway? Ah, they did have a stinker bell. B. Oh. Yes. What could they be searching for, though? Obviously, they didn't get it because they didn't select it immediately. Ariel for a song. That might be enough for them. Dang, I was hoping. But I will go ahead and play a Mufasa here because if they do manage to remove him, he likely just plays a character that wins the game for us. Likely. There's a lot of quests for two and more in this deck, but there are some quests for ones. I think we just get a concession here. Obviously, they got to play Ariel first, right? They might get something. I don't, how are they going to do three damage to multiple characters here? I think this game's over. Swords is a great start. But now they need the one damage to everything, and that's they gave up their Stinker Bell. And they whiffed on the aerial. And here comes the concession footprints? Or are they going to let me quest for victory? Eh? What do you think, opponent? You're just going to try to time yourself out? Are you rage quitting on me? <laughs> My revenge is complete, though. I have won this game. It is over. Thank you for playing, my opponent. <laughs> they are very upset. I can tell. They're very salty. They're going to let the timer run out. Oh, thank you, opponent. Maybe not as salty as I suspected. Ooh, Steel Song or Bodyguards? Steel Song or Bodyguards? Which be it? Okay, I think... I think we hold on to the teeth just in case. It works with our Minnie Mouse. Outside of that, let's get rid of all of these. And let's hope to get a Rapunzel for Mother Gothel. That'll be huge if we can get it. And we're not going to get it. We're just going to get another Mother Gothel back. Got a lot of Inkables, though, which is fantastic. But here we go. Going second. The downside with going second 
is they get uh good they don't have it so they get their cinderella online all right we can definitely defeat the robin hood so there's no turn three robin hood coming at us could have been a disaster though with the teeth well, never mind. We would have got it anyway. <laughs> Alright, definitely don't need a bunch of these. Let's go ahead and pay for this. Two damage here to do two damage there. Get you off the board and gone. I do not want to deal with your shifted friends so quickly. Especially if they're shift, you know, ink shift. Maybe cheat something else out with lantern and then seeing a whole new world. That would be disastrous. Another lantern, so they can still play something for three. They do not. Fantastic. I have a lot of uninkables. That's going to be an issue. I think we still play Mother Gothel. I have the chance to top deck a Rapunzel, which is great, but I'm likely looking at Maui. Oh, that's unfortunate. Total board wipe! <laughs> Alright, well, these are both fine. I love when Mufasa has the chance to actually hit something like a Chernobog. Though, it's never happened for me. I've had it done to me. <laughs> but we'll play Prince Eric. Prince Eric squares up with Tinkerbell pretty, pretty well. It doesn't matter how Prince Eric dies. All right, go get your song. Like I said, doesn't matter how Prince Eric dies. Hmm. Well, if I play both of these, they lose two of their characters if they play that swords. I'm actually really happy with my board because those are two very tasty targets. All right, I'll take out the Tinkerbell. Am I gonna get the second trigger? Oh, is there a glitch here? Oh, that? Whenever this character is banished, you may banish chosen character. Oh, there's a... That's not correct. Ariel should be dead. Two princes died. So two of their characters should have died. Oh, that's a big deal. Alright. I'll be sure to report that. That is a bug for sure. All right, Hydra's interesting here. Takes any point of damage and Beast takes the damage, right? Or is it just combat? Whenever this character is dealt damage. Yep. <laughs> just simply dealt damage. So you're, you're damaging steel spells. I'm going to get you back. Oh, I love this because I just attack Beast now. And then it also takes out Ariel. And then three damage here. Oh, I love the Hydra. That's so sweet. <laughs> Pass the turn. I got plenty of characters. I got four characters in the grave, so Chernabog off the top will also be sweet. Definitely a lot more difficult for my opponent's style of deck to deal with. Alright, one damage there is one damage to Tink. Oh, I like this Hydra. <laughs> That's fun. Hmm, yeah, why not? Tink will take out Hydra, which will also take out Mufasa, but Hydra takes out Tink. Alright, well, so both of those should trigger. 
Let's do Mufasa first. And I'll do the damage here. The evasive is nice. Activate those lanterns. You finally going to use them? No? Opponent's playing lanterns, but opponent's not using lanterns. <laughs> they are questing, though. All right. I think I'm actually going to go fish hook here to give Stitch that evasive. Chosen character gains evasive. So I think that's, that's the plus attack. This is the evasive. That way they can both just quest and Tink can't attack into them. All right, that'll make it tough. I'm, I'm sure my opponent's just riddled with removal though. So I'm sure they can take down the stitch. All right, playing something big here. Or just making sure to utilize. That's eh, a little of both. Make sure to draw your card. Make sure to draw your card. <laughs> Make sure to draw your card, I said. <laughs> Alright, what's the point of that? They're on plus eight. And they can gain two this turn still. Plus eight is not lethal, but they could have a shift stitch. And if that's the case, we just we just lose. In fact, if they got a shift stitch or a shift Robin Hood, we basically just lose this game. Because if I focus on attacking here. I go to 15, right? You're not taking out anything, right? Only, well, with the assistance of the fish hook, you could. Rockstar's not going to cut it. Let's draw another card. Oh, the Maui would have been great to have, but now I can't afford it. We're going to go evasive on Rockstar. Go up to 15 and then because these are tapped, Tink can take stuff out. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll it. If they have a shift of either one of those, we lose. That's basically all it comes down to. Alright, they they either got it or they're or they don't. Well played could literally mean either thing. Yep, they got it. It's funny, Robin Hood was the one I was considering taking it out because taking out a stitch wouldn't lead to a victory either way because there was two of them. So I considered taking that one out specifically. But, you know. Sapphire and Ruby. I bet you this is a dime deck. Okay. Blitz, 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 blitz. I want to go fast. So I don't want these. That's pretty decent. Ramp is okay. Evasive is okay, but it can come later. I don't need it straight away. Maui's okay. Uh, without Rapunzel, these guys are probably just going to be uh, either ink or just straight trade fodder. Here comes the poop sickle. There's not going to be a ton to trade with, but though, ooh, that's a lot of Maui's. We're going to get some Hiram's off the board for sure. <laughs> Inca Gothel. Let's go straight into the Minnie Mouse. But Inca Maui, I'm telling my opponent I have Maui. Hmm. Fishbone Quill gone. That's good. Happy to see it. We're going to see two one drops from the opponent. No, we're not. Teeth won't do anything in this particular matchup, so I'm happy to be rid of it. Mother Gothel. Now I just need a Rapunzel, and we'll be sitting pretty. Dragon. There's the Fishbone. Here comes the ramp. The only thing awkward about Fishbone is it takes you to your 5-drop. Which for them could be a Maui, which is, you know, that's pretty decent. But you, with two Popsicles, you want to play a Hero. So that one drop is a little awkward. All right, I ink a Maui here. Hopefully at this point, my opponent hasn't played a character for several turns. So hopefully they see me inking Maui as like, oh, my opponent's not going to play anything. I don't need 
my Maui. But in reality, <laughs> Maui's are great. Pony gets to draw four cards off of here, though. I really do need a Rapunzel. Okay, I'm honestly fine with that. I might even throw Doc at Maui just- Nah, he quests for two. I'll, I'll make them do it. Stitch isn't bad. I think I'd rather honestly have another Doc down right now, but... Prince Eric is also good. Alright, we don't quest with Minnie Mouse. Because I don't want him to get a 3 for 1 with the Maui. Could heal with the Popsicle here. But he won't. It's too valuable with his Hiram's. Speaking of which, are we going to see one? No, we're going to see a McDuck Manor. It's okay. As of this moment, I can race it. It's about to get pretty unsustainable here in a second, though. I'm only playing one character. Alright, it'll be a dock. We're gonna see a board wipe, though. Alright, here comes the board wipe, and I think we just lose the game from this point. This deck's not fast enough to deal with this level of control. This is the first place winning deck in a 1k event, though. There's the board wipe, as predicted. Opponent is down to his last card, though, so no Hiram's is actually kind of huge. I think I'd rather just have a couple of rock stars instead of a Maui at this point. Man, all the Maui's just gone. Judy Hops, they could trade something for card draw if they want. They're going to do it. More ramp. Man, that's all opponents doing is just ramping. They could pretty much do whatever they want. Blue Fossil's good. Alright, the fact that the opponent's out of cards and they're top decking, we have a solid chance here. Hey, that's enough to get rid of a Stitch. Oh, but they're not going to go for it. Ooh, missed opportunity. I think they should have taken out Rockstar there. Happy to do it. There's a great card. I think we just go for this. Uh, I could ink, but I still couldn't play either character. A little unfortunate, but it's fine. I think we ink and play our surfer. Draw two cards. They really should use that fish hook and take out our stitch. That's the only way they're staying in this game. They should have done it last turn. Alright, they're still in this game. Mufasa beats- or Hades beats Mufasa. I don't get the character. Oh, but that's brutal. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, defeat Chernabog. I'm sure my opponent has a million ways to do it, but... Unless they top decked it right here. Ah! What do they have for four? That can get rid of Chernabog. What do they have for three that can get rid of Chernabog? It's basically nothing, right? And that's game. Fantastic. I'll go ahead and just show them what I got. You know, no big deal. <laughs> Fantastic. I actually wasn't sure we were going to win that one. Hmm. Emerald Amber. Is this a, a hand hate deck? You gonna make me discard? Oh, if that's the case, then I would love to see. Would love to see a Rapunzel. 
Get rid of the expensive stuff and the uninkable. Man, I'm failing to find Rapunzel all day. <laughs> it doesn't exist in my deck, apparently. Uh, hmm. This is actually somewhat of a tough choice. But I have two rock stars. Let's get rid of a rock star. If it is discard, I would imagine Bucky, in which case Teeth isn't going to do anything anyway. Bodyguard. Oh, it's aggro. Okay. I can fight aggro. Alright, then I will not need a stitch. Aggro with a little hand hate. Obviously that cursed merfolk when it's attacked. Hydra's really good. It is such a long ways away though, and it's uninkable. But because it's uninkable, we'll eventually get to it. There goes my teeth. I was thinking about using that on that merfolk there. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, Minnie Mouse gone. So I think we go Doc. And then I'm going to sing the teeth. I'll do the damage to Doc. Take out the Cursed Merfolk. So you will sing it. I'll do the damage here. Take out the Cursed Merfolk. Doc will be exist long enough to get my Maui down. Assuming I draw an inkable. <laughs> that is the thing. I got, there's only 11 uninkables in the deck. Ursula likely won't attack. It might attack, but it likely won't. And if it does, perfect. It's just a trade. There's an inkable. Nervous character quests. Perfect. So we can just quest. I'll get the Maui down. I doubt the Ursula is going to be attacking the Doc. If anything, they're going to bounce both characters back to my hand. In which case, I'll ink the Doc and play the Maui and take out the Ursula. So if that's what it's doing, that's fine. Oh, that's unfortunate. I actually can't do anything. I just have to pass my turn, I think. Yep. Have to pass my turn. Doc can't help me cheat something out. Wow, wow, wow. This is starting to get embarrassing. <laughs> I just got done saying there's only 11 uninkables in the deck. Watch me top deck all of the uninkables now. Well, that doesn't do anything. Hmm, I could board wipe them. I could board wipe them, can't I? You're definitely getting inked. Let's think about this. Prince Eric attacks Ursula. It dies. I remove Wildcat as a threat. Then Doc trades with Ursula. Nothing left. Uh, Doc can't trade. I have to actually quest with it. The Maui takes down Ursula. Doc quests. I play Lady Tremaine. Board's mine. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we get a Prince Trigger. Let's get rid of the Wildcat. Maui will finish off the Ursula. Doc will quest. Lady Tremaine comes down. The queen is sacrificed, and opponent's down to a flute and one card in hand. Alright, let's see you recover. Not a bad way to start. Discarded the thing that was in their hand, it was, was a Rapunzel! Curse Merfolk. I'll play a Hydra. 
bus past turn. All right, I'm winning this race, plus six to their three. Unfortunately for Hydra, he takes no damage from the Merfolk, so there's no extra damage to deal out. <laughs> the one time having no strength is beneficial. Man, Hydra gets to defeat Turnabout. So Hydra can just defeat anything, right? Whenever it's dealt damage, deal that much damage to chosen opposing character. Yeah, you deal nine damage to Hydra. Hydra just finishes you off. All right, let's start by inking this. Quest here. Let's drop a stitch. And I will discard the Simba for another Hydra. Since Maui has to attack. All right, so far so good. I could choose to also give up a Maui just to take down the Chernabog. Surely they're gonna do something with it. If they just quest, I'll have Hydra take down Chernabog. All right, so now Maui can take down the Chernabog. I'll have two Hydras. Okay, well, I'll have one Hydra in play, at least. They don't know about the other one. All right, defeated. Easy. All right, tough board for my opponent. I should have played Mufasa. Just on principle, right? A board wipe. They don't have a board wipe in their colors, but on principle, I should have played Mufasa just for the practice, the repetition of it. He gets removed and then I get another character. Hmm, Sapphire Steel. Is this going to be a dime variant? <laughs> Everyone's loving the dimes right now. I just think the dime is such a... Not great card. It's a win more card in my opinion. Got to do, be doing pretty well for it to already function well. Uh, mm, I don't think I'm going to need these teeth. Fish hook might be okay. All right, let's try the fish hook. Uninkables, no big stitch either. That's unfortunate. I'd love to have gotten a big stitch. All right, no turn one play. So no popsicles from the opponent. What could they play? They could play a location. In which case, this would be really good. Perhaps getting my evasives down, though, is going to be the way to go. All right. Sorry, Fishhook. I kept you because I thought you'd be neat, but I see some evasives, some bodyguards, some ramp. Dealing with the steel portion could be a pain in the butt. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, though, honestly. I don't know what they could have that has Rush, but I will play a Simba. All right, so far no setup from the opponent like they're playing some cards. That, well, not that one. That one's yucky <laughs> Well, if I go into dock here, I will be setting up for a Hydra pretty quick. But I think I just play the mini mice well, They all quest for two every card in my hand quests for two so it's probably fine <laughs> All right, if opponent's building up for a swords, Rapunzel. Finally see a Rapunzel. <laughs> First one all day. Yes, she is a four of in the deck. All right. You telling me still nothing? Those Louis are very awkward. Oh, they're trying to cheat something out. You know what that means? That means I need to get Prince Eric into play this turn. Because whatever they cheat out, Prince Eric will deal with it. Technically, so will Hydra. <laughs> they both... Re Hydra requires to have the attack, though. Prince Eric just requires death. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna attack your Mickey Mouse. 
the ability cost two? Oh, it does cost two. Still, huge discount. Hmm. <laughs> Not smart. All right, Aurora's gone. <laughs> they did not understand how that worked. Don't concede. Don't do it. Opponent. Okay. All right, your turn is over. <laughs> yes, your Mickey Mouse is a goner. They have no attack power, so it doesn't really matter who attacks between these two. I think I would rather have Mufasa. Mufasa! Alright. Opponent not playing a deck that I expected. Likely to their detriment, honestly. I hate to say it. I really do hate to say it, but... Sometimes you can't get past it. There's a reason meta decks are meta decks because they're they do well. Grandma Tala down the drain. And now we both just get to ramp. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that card because it's just so bad, for lack of a better word. All right, well, I just have victory on board. I'm not going to commit anything to play. And that will not do it. Good game, opponent. Whatever your last card could be, it's not going to be good enough. All right. Quick and easy. 